commentary slash broadcast. Today I'm going to be talking about global warming with my fellow friend Diego Peña. He is also doing a blog that uh, involves global warming on ecosystems or ecosystems. So introduce yourself Diego. Hello, my name is Diego, I said before, and I'm here joining Alfonso to talk about climate change and the effects it has on ecosystems and Earth in general. Now, I am not a supporter of global warming, so this would be interesting. Yes, yeah, so basically, global warming is the <coughs> overall increase of temperature in Earth's atmosphere. What do you think of global warming, Diego? Oh, uh, what I think about global warming is that it is one of nature's worst enemies and can possibly end in catastrophic events and may put us into extinction. Now, this is one of my biggest fears as a human being. So, uh, uh, well, what is your greatest fear of in such catastrophic event? My biggest fear of catastrophic events is the destruction of ecosystems. And then, so, uh, yeah, go ahead. With, without ecosystems, what would happen in the future, in your opinion? Uh, I think that us humankind will end since we depend on animals and with broken ecosystems, there will be no animals or creatures that we can uh, feed off. I definitely agree with the opinion that you have. So, what do you think of the rise of the sea level and how it is affecting our uh, economy? Well, what I what I feel about the economy is that if the sea level rises and it would eventually, uh, well, put it this way, um. I'm sorry, I had a brain fart, but no. um. Our economy would decrease, and um, if the sea level rises, it would destroy our crops. And crops is our main source of money, so if we don't have any crops, then we wouldn't have money. Well, yeah, definitely, since uh, we need those crops, and uh, <coughs> yeah, like Texas and California, they build up most of our economy by agriculture, and then by that, you know, we depend on that. And also, crops really help us. They give us the vitamins and minerals we need most of the time. And without them, we could get really sick and suffer through malnutrition, which can cause all uh, sorts of problems. Well, what I think about that is if we don't have the nutrition or proteins of the plants that we need to survive, then that's what I had said before, that it may lead us to extinction. So, are you against climate change? And if so, what have you done or what will you do to help the world? Well, I am definitely against climate change. It really has major effects on uh, not just those humans, but animals and i think that is really bad and something i, <laughs> I will do and uh, i i do is tell other people to like to limit their use of the cars and if they really need to go like in a group so they won't waste much uh, gases and release carbon dioxide into our atmosphere well that wraps this podcast slash commentary well, thank you guys for watching and hope to see you guys soon.